The third phase of the Equip-led stakeholder engagement concluded recently, and with it, the overall public consultation that was part of the thorough re-examination of St. Lucia's Education Act. The National Validation Session invited input from members of the public and private sector in order to gather feedback that would aid consultants in undertaking a final appraisal of the draft document before submission to the Ministry of Education for further review and action were required. With the present Education Act adopted 19 years ago in 2005, the need for revision was underscored by Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, Kendall Kodra. According to Mr. Kodra, some 1,000 submissions have been received by nationals with ideas expected to inform the changes made. Effective governance of the education sector necessitates sound and progressive legislation. These provisions in this further updated iteration of the bill should enable the following and we spoke about one the expanded age range for education expanded support for learners with special needs an assets-based approach to education which builds on students strengths rather than identifying and treating deficits noting that a holistic approach was being taken in identifying areas needing attention mr kodra identified other areas to be enhanced a more holistic approach to education for every child with the recognition of the importance of psychosocial services provided by our guidance counselors. Greater empowerment of principals and teachers to create safe and inclusive learning environments through the establishment of a national code of conduct. Enhanced quality of education through the provisions for a national curriculum that includes early childhood education, and expanded sections on homeschooling and school inspections. Principal consultant Paula Cook McKinnon says the final draft document has been directly shaped by St. Lucians. Two of the four key consultants guiding the revision of the Education Act are St. Lucia nationals. Ensuring adaptation to local culture is given significant consideration. Former Attorney General Kim St. Rose and former Chief Education Officer Fortuna Husbands Anthony serve as the legal drafter and education consultant, respectively. This is your Education Act. It's for St. Lucians. And that's why we spend so much time um, consulting with everyone and listening to feedback and making edits based on what you asked us. The, we're speaking about this third draft of the Act. And um, we only got here based on what St. Lucian's told us. So the two-year journey to the current draft of the Revised Education Act commenced in February 2022 with the start of research and stakeholder consultations. In November 2023, the final period of stakeholder consultation commenced before concluding six months later after formation of the current draft document. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiva Talium reporting.